Hey there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm going to start off with an oracle card or two and uh, then jump into your Celtic cross, a general spread. Okay, four Libras, spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power, please join us and give us messages for the highest good of Libra. All right, this is the Shaman's Dream. Thanks, guys, for subscribing to you. And if you're interested in private readings, check out the box below for that information. And we are ready. <laughs> All right, we have Lay of the Land, Ancestral Wisdom. That's good. Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. When you have the lay of the land, then it's like you rule. You have dominion. You rule over something. You're maybe royalty over something. And it may be something, you know, generational, passed down. Garden of Venus. I think that that is like gathering up your energy, um, restoring yourself back to how you felt. Things blossoming, abundance coming in. Garden of Venus, rest and renewal from something that apparently was just too much. All right, let's see, let's get you some angel number messages now. I think I'm gonna put these up. I'm gonna use the small cards. Ooh. Okay, angel number messages for sign of Libras, for our Libras, please. Oh, I love that number. 444-000-12. I'm a visionary. Creativity is your driving force. You're a visionary. 444, you're on the right path. Like, trust your journey at this point that your spirit guides and angels are helping you. And you're on that infinite loop of creation, and you are the creator. Okay. Now, let's dive into the tarot. <clears throat> so, we're going to do a general Celtic cross, for the most part, uh, for the sign of Libra with our next 48 hours. Okay, Spirit, what's the issues for Libra? What's the issue? What's the issues for Libra? feeling nervous, anxious, with some insomnia, maybe some racing thoughts. Challenge that you either need more information about something or this might have to do with a child, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Getting more information, maybe that's the challenge to lift you out of this um, anxious, not knowing what to do energy. What is the root or the heart of the matter for Libra? Heart of the matter. Can't make up your mind on a decision and you cannot postpone something any longer. What is the past energy? King of Cups in the reverse. Something that really had your emotions all over the place or this is a person whose emotions were all over the place. Hard to balance. Could have been um, loving intentions, but hard to balance. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. Present energy. Half three cups is neither really reverse or upright. So maybe you're making memories, celebrating something with friends. If you're celebrating, let's get another card for the present so I can understand this more. present moment. Seven of Swords. This could be celebrating a legal issue that went well. This could represent in the middle the person or persons responsible for the energy of deception, stealing, 
uh, lying, stealing something away that's yours. I wonder, like, wonder if after this, like after this energy, the nine of pentacles came to kind of make things right. Needing the money to make something right. Abundance. But I don't know why deception's there. One more. Okay. You're becoming independent. You're leaving a situation because, or you're leaving a, a career or something. You're leaving something in the past because it was deceptive, deceitful, or it was got in means of corrupt ways so bad that you couldn't stand up. So it's a complete rebirth into this Nine of Pentacles. It's a rebirth of who you are. Okay, near future. The high Priestess, have you listening to your intuition, having a good uh, knowledge base about what's going on just from feeling yin energy. <clears throat> so you need to be open to receive because this would be a time of receiving heightened psychic awareness. How do you feel? You feel like you're getting out of what was a very heartbreaking situation or loss, a significant loss in your life because it is general. Okay, what is the external energy here? We have the Knight of Pentacles, so that is a good offer coming in for you that if you want it, it has stability. It's, 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 there's something responsible about this Knight of Pentacles. Um, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, that could be Pisces. What's the hope and fear? Hopes and fears. Well, there's your hope. Your hope for a new beginning. That is your hope. Ha fearing, you know, losing hope would be the fear. Okay, what's the outcome? What's the outcome for Libras? Any more than, oh, goodness, really? <laughs> I'm not taking all those. I'm sorry. That's a lot. Ten of Cups. We have Sun on the bottom. So happiness, joy happiness joy togetherness using the divine to help you seriously <laughs> news communication coming in that you've got your wish granted and your ten of cups it's the progression you got the nine to the ten you will be complete and you will get news of this very soon complete whole wishes granted material items financial stability i think heightened spirituality to ski and ask the angels ask the angels what message you have for libra oh gosh really abundance wow it's abundantly clear your abundance is here i had to go through some stuff let's get another one yes and ask from help for uh, from others ask for help from others and yes all right, some tea leaves for you, and we're going to wrap your reading up. Well, family wishes come true, all of them. <laughs> Table, hard work ahead. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Well, yeah, we see that, but that's where you transform. And then key, successful outcome to your problem. Taurus got this one, too. All right, Libra, we also have the month of November for somebody. All right, now we're going to get some dream totems, and then we're going to wrap your reading up. I keep saying that, and then I keep pulling out more stuff. <laughs> All right. Steadiness. Things seem to be moving slowly, but use this time to your advantage. Gather your resources and rebuild your energy, because that sun card is here to help you with your energy. Preservation. Reevaluate this battle you're engaged in. A hasty retreat may be in order. Self-preservation may be the only thing salvageable. Faith or hope, loving and then letting go is not one of the most is not only one of the most challenging things we can do, it's the bravest. So take deep breaths and know that this is right. Have discretion. 
Friendships are fantastic when there's equality in the relationship. Maybe it's time to undertake a quick audit of your friendships to ensure they're reciprocal. All right, so there's your reading, Libra. Thanks for joining me, guys. Y'all have a nice next 48 hours.